Here we go. What's up, Homestead homies? It's Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug, and that's Mike with the Big Pond Farm. So we're at the uh, Curtis Stone Workshop uh, in Selmer, Tennessee. Uh, you guys are checking out some of these videos. They're going to kind of hog up some of the week and uh, whatever because there's a lot of interesting stories here. But um, when I came into the place, I'm like, I've seen that guy before. And where I saw him was that Justin Rhodes uh, actually stopped by his uh, place. They actually live in a yurt, right? Yes, sir, we do. Yeah, where was it at? In, uh... Uh, we live just outside of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina yeah. in Concord, North Carolina. So yeah. I am uh, the weird yurt guy that you've seen <laughs> on the Great American Farm Tour. That's like his little calling card now. He's like, that's all he has to say. And people were like, yeah, I saw that video. That was great for your channel. I liked, I liked watching your family. Uh, it's really cool Thank what you guys got going on in the yurt and everything. Thank you. So, you know, I was like, so we started talking and I thought, man, I can uh, help you out, promote your channel a little bit, talk about what you guys have going on. And I wanted to find out too, and we could talk about like why are you here um, at the workshop. I know you're not just the cameraman for Curtis. <laughs> He's actually been holding Curtis's camera, trying to help him out a little bit. So that's pretty cool too, because uh, you know he does videos, so it always helps out. So, so what do you? What, I mean, what? prompted you to come here what's on your mind what, what are you guys working towards well like you said I have been operating the camera for Curtis and uh, even though I'm also called the fit farmer if you can <laughs> check me out on Instagram as the fit farmer yeah I am getting a workout holding yeah, Curtis's yeah. camera today we were making a joke at lunch I'm like you got carpal tunnel yet because <laughs> I can see his arm his veins are popping out he's got this heavy camera <laughs> yeah but um, I have been learning for Curtis Stone uh, I started by uh, enrolling in his online course and I highly recommend it and I think it complements this workshop really well uh, but I, I learned a lot from that course and I've been implementing uh, the things that I've learned from Curtis Stone for the past two years and man it has made a big difference on actually making money on our farm when we first started I started, we, we were one of those homesteaders, you wanted to get in everything. Yeah. So we were, we always said, oh, I want goats, I want, I want chickens, I want ducks, I want to try to get some sheep in here, or we want to grow this, we want to grow that. But we weren't making any money. Right. So we had to decide, are we trying to be homesteaders, or are we trying to be market gardeners and, right. and make money at, at farming and gardening? So it was a tough decision, but we decided that, I didn't want to work for the man, I didn't want to work for some company. I wanted to be at home and I wanted to share life with my family. I wanted right. us to work together and, and, and enjoy the farm together. We wanted it to be a family thing. That's a great common thing with all the homesteaders and these market gardeners and people that you guys are meeting through our channel and on YouTube is that people just want to spend more time with their family. Yes, yes. That, that, that is the main reason why I'm doing any of this. It is, it's not just about me and it's about, it's about growing things for our family, growing things for the community and uh, just be, having that connection together to be connected. I think families are, are so disconnected mm -hmm. these days, we wanted to make sure that our family was, was connected. I love that. Uh, but in this workshop, I decided to do the workshop. Once I heard Curtis Stone was coming to the, this area, even though it's nine hours away from our house, I thought that it would be great to see everything that I've been learning on online in person to see Curtis implementing these techniques and having somebody else that he has followed in his footsteps to see it hands-on being successful and making money at doing it. That's good. I love that stuff. So you took the online course, so are you already market gardening? Yes, I am. And uh, we're already selling to, we sold to some small grocery stores. Uh, we've also sold to a broker who does like a delivery of produce. And I even do like a, a buyer's club that we sell directly to the customers. So uh, those are a couple of ways that we sell. We've done farmers markets in the past, but they haven't been the best for us. So we're really trying to identify what is the best way to, to sell our produce. But so far it's been the small grocery store, direct to customers and uh, the brokers. The broker, huh? So he basically, is he doing like a CSA thing and he's like using your stuff and his stuff? Is yes. that kind of like it, how it uh, is? The one that we're, the major one that we're doing right now, it started off as a grocery store. It's actually this one that I have on my shirt. Uh, and they ended up changing the name. Somebody else took it over. They closed the store and they huh. decided to focus solely on just delivering yeah, yeah. products. So a number of farmers that they, they get produce from and they offer it on their website. Right. And then they sell it to the customers in that, in the area that we're in. Pretty slick. So, okay, when was the online course that you actually took? Let's see, I believe it was two, two and a half years ago that I enrolled for Curtis's course. I had been listening to Curtis Stone for 
probably the very first episode he was on Diego Footer's Permaculture Voices. Right. And right. I was like, everything he said, every, episode after, after episode made sense. And I was like, this is what I need to do. Even though we were still doing some permaculture things here and there, uh, like I said before, we really wanted to make sure that what we were doing is profitable. And I felt that Curtis Stone made, uh, uh, definitely makes it clear and shows the, uh, anyone who's watching and listening to him and, and those who become students of his of how to make market gardening successful. If I want to eat the best food, to know that I'm eating the best food, I need to grow that food. Right. So I began growing our own food and we actually lived in the city when I started having a garden. We were just starting to grow food and we were just starting to have kids at, at that time. And uh, the passion for growing food and knowing that I'm putting the best food on the table for my family was, was, was huge. Another underlying thing that you guys keep hearing in these videos, people are caring where this food comes from. It's big time. It's good stuff. So then um, you have your first year pretty much market gardening. You guys are making a living a little bit off of it, right? Yes, it's only going to grow. How, many, how much land do you guys have there? Our, your... our farm uh, that we operate on, we probably operate on, we have a, a, about an acre pond that we use and we'll still do our ducks because it, it just works well and we right. sell a lot of our duck eggs to uh, a number of clients because we pretty much are capturing that market for duck eggs in our area and it would be foolish to, to get rid of that totally because right. ducks are easy, uh, for, at least for me and with the pond. And uh, we're adding to that, we've been adding the, the market garden and the market garden working in conjunction with that. Uh, for us, the eggs have been the hook. When I originally got into farming, I thought we were going to do a Joe Salton pastured poultry. Right. Uh, and, and that's great if you're doing that, but after some time of slaughtering chickens, I said, I do not want to do this every week. Right, right. I was like, I may do it for my family later on once we focus a little more on homesteading when we get to that point, but we first need to make sure that we are sustainable as a farm. So I, I really wanted to make sure that we were bringing in incomes to do that in the market garden. Uh, the market garden has been that, that way of doing so it. So your property though, how big is it? And the property is uh, itself is 10 acres, 10 so acres. we're really only operating on... Like an on, acre or two? Uh, the garden is about a half acre right. at, at, at the most. Right. And then uh, we have another just kind of uh, another acres that are probably just some fruit trees that were already on the property of persimmons and yeah. we have some walnut trees as well and then we run chickens here and there through our food forest, our developing food forest. Yeah, so one of the systems um, when Curtis Stone is talking and teaching, he's teaching people how to make the most yield and profit off of a small space. So you can really put a lot of plants in a small area and then harvest those successfully um, and uh, what is it called, succinctly, you know, like yeah. over and over and and so and so and you can really uh, get the job done with that so I really I've enjoyed uh, hanging out with you we watched your uh, your videos and stuff we try to tag along I'm gonna leave uh, his link down below so you guys can check out his channel uh, check out their journey they got some kids are living in a yurt you know being living the crazy life how often do you post videos uh, we're basically doing once or twice a week right now we cut back a little bit just because the farm needed a little bit more attention yeah, yeah. Uh, but you can catch us uh, at least once or twice a week uh, check out the big pond farm channel and he'll leave that uh, link leave there. the link down below if you want to Check out his Instagram channel. We'll leave that link down below too. So guys, we're still bringing you more of this stuff uh, from this um, gathering that we're at, the Curtis Stone Workshop. And uh, we're talking to these people who are implementing his systems. They're making money for their homestead using the systems. They're coming here. They're fine tuning what they're doing. Some people that are here have never even grown food before, but they know that in their heart this is what they want to do. And so hopefully you guys are seeing this firsthand. You're always asking about making money on the homestead. And then what a great way you could be outside. You know, we were listening to some stories and people are, you know, they go to work uh, on the garden, you know, till 8 or 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. And then they're off till the evening time. You know, it gives you a lot more freedom and you can actually live the life you want to live and then do it intentionally. Right? Yeah. All right. So this is another great episode with Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Don't forget to check out his channel. Uh, also, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget, big meet and greet coming up in Kidron, Ohio at Layman's. All the information is down below. We had a great time at the Homesteaders of America conference, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow.